so you can see here this is the window and uh, yeah th this will be all everything that I need okay and the wizard replaced this code to, to make the dialog return the result if I press claw uh, ok or cancel so now I am gonna use it uh, in my in my uh, class okay and the way I'm gonna use it is like this public sub read read contact info okay first thing to do is that I'm gonna modify the dialog to clear all the content of of the text boxes so read contact on for dialog dot text box one dot text is nothing and the same goes second one and third one this is the second one dot text equal nothing and the third one dot text equal nothing this clears the content of the dialog box then I will read the information from the display if uh, read contact dot show dialog if when I show it as a dialog and the result I get is cancel which means I don't want to enter the information then exit sub I will stop everything otherwise it means I was able to read the information so I will have to fold the, ver the variables of the class so name equal uh, read contact them for dialog dot text box one dot text and the address equal read contact information dialog dot text box two dot text and uh, the last one is notes certain uh, sorry T E L equal read contact information dot text where is that text box three dot text okay and this way I am able to read the con the uh, the values from the display okay I am not placing any validation here I am assuming that all the, the data are entered correctly now let's go back to our main window form one and uh, modify the code to these instead of of reading the information uh, setting the information I will read it from the screen so I, the method I add added was read contact info okay so I will just add read contact information A and B that's it this one and this one so let's save this and run the code okay when I press this one I get this box so this will be Smith uh, okay the address UK and uh, the phone number now the second one is Michael and the address US telephone and I press OK and then I'm getting Smith UK and Michael US and so on so as you can see it's very easy it's very straightforward to uh, to use this uh, if you want uh, if you sorry if you check the code okay we can make it like this now if you check the code uh, of the user interface you don't have to worry about the class anymore just check the code here okay this means I'm creating a new contact information this means I'm creating another contact information I read the first one from screen I read the second one from screen I didn't worry about how to read the name I didn't worry about how to read the address or the telephone everything is contained inside my class okay and it is treated as one unit whenever I need to do something I just call the subroutine or the function to do it so the code for me is much easier to understand this way okay and not also for me it's easier to understand for others uh, anyone can read this code and if they have a basic understanding of programming they can understand that what what this code do okay okay so for now uh, we haven't uh, 
uh, did a lot with this one but we we can do the follow uh, sorry but uh, we are gonna modify it more we want to uh, display the content of of the uh, of the contact information in a window so also we are gonna create another dialog okay so right click on the project select add and select a new item or uh, sorry uh, windows form is the same and select uh, dialog now we are gonna make it display contact info display contact info add okay and uh, this one will be a little bit different okay let me just get rid of this one and uh, yeah we are not gonna enter any value we are just displaying the contact information so here uh, it will be easier for me to get these copy because they are uh, aligned and everything is ready so I paste these here okay and this is my OK button I'm gonna make it big and oh sorry gosh ah oh, this is annoying okay so this one will only display the information I will prevent these from being modified by uh, setting the read-only property to true okay and then this one will close the window now uh, I will go to my class and create a method to display the information okay so public sub display contact info okay so uh, display contact info dot uh, text box one dot text equal name and sorry uh, display contact info yeah wait a minute Uh, I'm doing something wrong here right wait a minute let me see this one sticks box one text box two text box three yes so let's go again here let's just make this like okay uh, there was a name conflict between the two okay and this uh, this uh, because uh, yeah the name of the subroutine is the same as the name of the of the dialog window. So now uh, display contact info dot text box two dot text equal like will equal the uh, address and display contact info dot text box three dot text equal tel telephone number finally display contact on for dot show dialog okay so this is the method now we will read the information and display it for a contact information here dimension a as a new contact contact info a dot read contact info and a dot display contact okay that's it so we are defining a variable or contact information I will read them with this line I will display the con uh, the contact information with this line so run the code yeah so when I press Smith and uh, okay you can see display contact info is working fine I press OK and everything goes well okay so we have now finished uh, 
the basic design of our uh, of our uh, class okay it 